everyone, my name is Karen Lee. I'm the founder of Glow Beauty and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a very special guest, my very best quadruped office buddy, Blue Blue. She's my puppy. And today we're gonna be talking about her beauty routine. Yeah, I have a lot of filming to do today, so this is kind of like my warm up video. I needed to keep it lighthearted so I can just get into my camera routine. And yesterday the weather was terrible, uh, so I filmed this at night with lamps and lighting, and I hated it. So I'm just doing this all over again. Who's the star of the show? You are. If you hear like, like sounds, that's because she's like always off camera, keeping me company. She's like a good dog. This is my dog, Bloob. She is three. I got her in 2017 during my gap year, literally the day after I finished grad school, which my last day was in Milan. I flew back home and within like 24 hours we were on the road to go pick her up because my whole life I've always wanted a dog to the point where if you asked me about how much I wanted a dog like I would have just started crying. It was definitely a priority of mine because I have pretty severe anxiety. I have an anxiety disorder and the one thing I found that really helped stop my panic attacks was being around animals so I decided to get a dog and I spent a year kind of like collecting myself and figuring out what I wanted to do career wise and I spent that a lot of time socializing my pup to be an emotional support animal so that she's very comfortable in social situations so she's like so friendly and so good around people she's a people dog not a dog dog when we go to the dog park she makes her rounds to all the dog lovers and then waits for me at the exit gate so it's pretty funny oh you want to stay there and whenever people pet Bloob and her hair. People say they've never pet a dog as soft and with hair quite like hers because it, I don't, you can't tell on a camera, but it's extremely fine and it mats like crazy. And it's also like a Swiffer, well, maybe even better than a Swiffer because it traps and locks dust better than anything else on the planet, I swear including odors so we have a pretty extensive beauty routine and I probably spend more time grooming this dog than I do myself and yeah and she also has a great affinity towards dirt and water of any kind whether it's a pool a pond a mud puddle a swamp she's completely non-discriminatory there's a good chance she will find her way into that body of water so we give her a bath by we I mean I give her a bath usually at least once a week purely out of necessity she would have rolled in skunk poo in something disgusting or just like picked up dirt and dust from running around in the yard or like from the park that we have to bathe her so here is everything we use she just got a bath so she's like so soft right okay do you want to stay there while I talk Okay, you want to have your blue spiky ball back? She's also like stupidly smart, so she knows how to like open doors as a puppy. She would always escape gated off areas. She would watch us like remove the baby gates by sliding it and she just learned how to do that. And she's like always, I call her her Houdini dog because she somehow like I'm looking for her in the backyard and she's just gone. She'll found her way into the neighbor's yard even though we have gates. Um, so she's extremely well trained off leash. She knows to never cross the road without permission. And she knows all the names of all her toys that she's ever had. So you can basically ask her for a toy by name and she'll go and get it for you if she's in the mood. She's also completely unbribable. Like, you know, it's like some dogs are really easy to train with treats. If she has to pick between doing the bad thing and getting a treat she kind of like just operates on her own agenda she's like i'm gonna do this because i know you're gonna feed me anyways super super annoying <laughs> but anyways so this is how i take care of my dog once a week we wash her with buddy wash and i love the stuff because there's no artificial dyes um it's sulfate free <gasps> paraben free um 
and it's really non-stripping because she has like super super fine hair um, and it's also great on humans as well um, it has a pretty short ingredient list where you can kind of like recognize everything and excuse me what oh she's asking me to toss her toy um it has a pretty short ingredient list so you can like understand everything um except the first ingredient was coconut shampoo based and i didn't understand why that was so i contacted the manufacturer and i was like what is this exactly um uh, and so that's how i know it's like for sure free of sls and sles um and sometimes i use it too uh, because it's it's a really nice shampoo and this is a lot um, and I keep hers in a pump bottle in my shower so sometimes if I'm in the mood I want to change things up because sometimes your hair gets used to shampoo or like you just want a different scent um, so I use this but it does remind me of my dogs and then I smell like my dog so I don't use that frequently but you could is what I'm saying so that shampoo is a two-in-one however I learned very quickly that the conditioner part is like it's not sufficient for her hair and I tried different doggy conditioners but I don't love the ingredient list and they also have dyes and the smells are super artificial like the shampoo it smells like what it says it smells like it smells like lavender um, with a little bit of mint but it's mostly just lavender but it's not like a cloying super artificial chemically smell which is what I find with a lot of dog shampoos and conditioners and products in general so it's a good thing I know a lot about ingredients though one conditioner I found works better than anything else I've used is Playa which is a conditioner for people it's super thick it's like butter so I do dilute it a little bit in a pump container I put that kind of like watery conditioner mix like on the parts of the dog where she can't eat it or lick it um, because I do know it's not made for dogs so I am a little bit more careful but I put it around her scruff and around the base of her tail and on her tail so that it really helps prevent the matting and it gives her, her hair that deep conditioning and it smells delicious so yeah so i love this conditioner but it truly changed my life when i started using it on my dog while she dries after her shower i always have to squeeze the water out we can't like just like rough her up with a towel i kind of let her dry halfway i used to use a blow dryer on her but her hair is so fine it gets heat damage and that becomes like really rough and stringy and just straw like and anyways the heat damage was apparent very quickly so we don't use any heat to dry her at all um she does have like a little doggy robe it's a shark it has like a little tail at the back and the hood has a little fin with eyes and like teeth so cute um because she also tries to dry herself on the walls which is not ideal um so she kind of dries about halfway and then that's when i kind of go at her with the true blue easy comb detangling spray this is super great at conditioning her hair when i brush it i rarely ever brush her dry because it creates static and then the whole matting thing comes up again and this is a truly weightless conditioner so I've been buying this for a very long time and then on her tail because I like when she has that beautiful plumage it just becomes like a solid woolen mess so I do squirt like a teeny tiny bit of the verb ghost oil because um, it has all the um, silicones in it to just kind of like seal in individual hairs so they don't stick together as much I mean it doesn't totally work but I just I always put some product into her tail so we can keep it long and beautiful before I trim it all off and she has a skinny little rat tail a couple times a year when we have to just start over fresh and when it comes to dematting her which is like a constant process like every single day I am checking for hot spots like behind her ears underneath her collar base of her tail her bum between her toes between her paw pads really like any anywhere she has hair she can mat 
and I used to use a slicker brush. This is a slicker brush. It has like really fine wires um, and it's really good for like breaking up mats. But her hair is so fine, this just ended up damaging her hair. So I've stopped using this and it also hurts when we're constantly tugging. So I just, I snip everything out with these wonderful scissors I got off Amazon. Three years strong. Comes in a little two pack and grooming scissors can be super expensive. Like just as expensive as like professional salon scissors. But these ones are great. They are extremely sharp so you have to be really careful. I mean like in the past I have accidentally nicked my dog and I feel awful but like it happens because she just moves um but I usually do all her grooming myself because I used to take her to groomers when she was a puppy so that she would get used to the noises and like having other dogs around and being confined to the grooming table but at one point like she must have had some kind of incident with her toes because I used to be able to trim her nails no problem for about like her first year um she could be sleeping I could just trim away at her nails and then one day like we just couldn't touch her paws anymore like she would not let us touch her paws like at all so um, it took about a full year to like slowly reward her and like condition her to like hey we're gonna touch her paws and it's gonna be all fine so whenever we gave her belly rubs I'd be like please touch her paws just like touch her paws so that she gets used to it so now she's like more okay with having her nails trimmed but it took so so long it was like literally like one nail at a time and then she would get like so much praise and then she would get a chew and we just worked like one toe at a time until we got up to like one paw and then now I can usually do like two paws per day and that's kind of like her limit for patience. And you know, sometimes if you do clip the quick, you don't need any like special, any like special, what is it? Like um, the styptic powder? No, the, the stuff that like helps stop the bleeding, you can just use a little bit of cornstarch. I just put some cornstarch in a little dish and I just put her paws in it and it usually stops. But you do have to be really careful. It is hard when they have black toenails I kind of like hold her paw up and I get underneath and I see where the dead nail is um, and then I use my little nail clippers um, this adjustment part like I find it doesn't really do much oh yeah her many many hair brushes I've used over the years so the best thing the best brush I have found for golden doodles are like just plain wire brushes or like wig brushes I think the first one I used was like the American Girl doll hairbrush and I was like this is what I need so I went and got some of those and even though she's a non-shedding dog you can kind of see that there's hairs in here like it, look how fine that is it's honestly it's softer than cashmere and then I have another one cuz that one the bristles are longer this one has shorter bristles but it's more flexible like in this cushiony part I know like how extra all this is um, tangled teaser is also great for when she's wet because it's so forgiving um, and also when her hair is really long it doesn't pull as much I've also used the wet brush like I literally have gone to like every brush there is like at the pet store and at Target <laughs> and I have this like teeny tiny comb and this is like for her snout and her head um, and her ears her ears get so matted I think like when I first got her and she was a puppy her ears were like you know regular ears and then they became like super thick at the bottom of like the leather um like her e where her ear ends my sister's like wow like it's kind of weird I was like yeah totally weird how it grows like that and then I realized it was like an inch and a half of like matted hair um, so because she doesn't shed you do have to like constantly be brushing and like encouraging those like dead hairs to get out of the way so they don't stick around and mat. I also have some clippers. I think these were like around $200 when I bought them and I also got the number three blade which was one of the longer ones. I believe it's like half inch and when I want to give her a longer cut I'll just go like from head to tail in one direction but if I want to give her like a shorter all over cut in the summer I'll go like head to toe not head to toe head to tail tail to head and then diagonally to get the hairs in all directions and then it'll leave her with a nice all over even cut but her when it comes to her legs she doesn't like the clippers and like it doesn't go through the mats in her hair in her legs as easily so I usually do her legs by hand I do her whole head by hand I just kind of like run my fingers through her hair so it kind of stands up and I go boop, boop, boop. I just imagine the dog I want and the dog shape I want and I just kind of like 
sculpt it out of the hair. So yeah, so even though like I'm pretty sure like the cheaper clippers that you can get off Amazon work fine, um, I wanted something that was a little bit more powerful and a little quieter. Honestly, I don't even know if this is like what I should have gotten, but every time I take her to the groomer, it would be like $100. So at $200, if I use this twice, and I give her a haircut, it's already paid over for itself. Um, and she needs a haircut like every six to eight weeks. So I'm saving a lot of money by doing it myself, even though I would love to be able to pay someone to do it because hair gets absolutely everywhere and it's so freaking itchy. But now that we all have to wear masks all the time, I just put on a mask, I put on my rain jacket, rain pants, and I go to town because if I wear anything else, her hair like gets in it and then it gets super itchy. You know, like when you get your hair cut and it gets in your clothes and you're like Ugh. yeah it, it's like that but like worse <laughs> so anyways that is my dog's beauty routine everything I use to groom her and keep her in tip-top shape I hope you enjoyed that and if you have a doodle let me know how you keep up with her hair because it is very high maintenance in general I think they all mat but I'm pretty sure my mats more than most because she has like the same coat she has when she was a puppy like it's just so fluffy and soft and most dogs have they're just not as soft like i don't know why um i've never felt a dog that's as soft as blue so yeah i i really didn't know what i, what I was getting into i was like yay non-shedding dog but honestly a shedding dog is almost easier to maintain because you can just follow up with a cordless dyson and you're like yeah let's go because even with this dog, like when I brush her, hair gets everywhere. Like, there's still hair. Because I'm constantly like trimming mats out. So there's still hair and I still have to follow up that Dyson cordless vacuum thing. Like one of the best things I've ever bought in my life. And a thousand percent the best thing I bought in 2018. Just so good. Life changing. So worth it. Anyways, thank you so much for being patient. I know this day go up on Friday like most of my videos normally do. And uh, let me know if there's anything you want to know about myself or Glow. I'm happy to talk about Blue Blue anytime. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter. What else do I use? Facebook. We're on Facebook. And our username is Glow Beauty. I also have like a LinkedIn page and I also have a weekly newsletter for company updates that I do through paperstreet.vc. Check that out if you're interested in that side of things. But right now I am just beginning the whole fundraising process so that we can build a better product and have a more sustainable business for growth moving forward. So I'm like eyeballs deep in keeping up with networking, emailing, twittering, because apparently that's where investors are. That's why I'm on Twitter now. Haven't touched it since 2009. So yeah, if you could give me a follow, that would be super appreciated so I don't look like a friendless loser. And that's all for this week. Please, please, please subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys next week. Okay, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.